I don't think there's any doubt that globalization has been assaulted by this process and that in certain countries we've seen political leaders revert back to nationalism, revert back to sort of closed borders, revert back to the us versus them type of uh, approach. Um, but in the end, the benefits of globalization far outweigh, I think we all know this, the, the problems of globalization. Now, right now, everybody's afraid and everybody wants to blame somebody else for what has become a worldwide pandemic. Everybody wants to make sure their supply chains are okay and intact and that their country will be able to provide equipment that's necessary during the course of this emergency and not have to rely on the other, the other country, uh, the other place. But at the end of the day, I am a globalist. I have seen the advantages of globalization. I've seen them both in a personal way and in a business way. I think it's enriched all of us and both, frankly, financially, but also spiritually, culturally. And I think people will want to do that again. Will we return quickly to the globalization that we knew before the crisis? No. I think people are going to be afraid to get on those airplanes, to get off those airplanes. I think people will be worried about you know, whether or not they will be able to be treated. This all has to do with whether there's a vaccine, whether there's a sense of confidence that their health will be okay. So I think it'll be a slower return to what we have seen in the past, which is millions and millions of people traveling and business basically being very comfortable being cross-border. But at the end of the day, I do believe we will return to that. I don't think we can put that back in the box. I think people will yearn once again. And there are advantages, as we all know. Different countries have different skill sets. Different countries can present things and uh, create things in different ways than other countries. But here in the United States, there's a backlash against globalization. I think that's pretty clear. Our political system will struggle with that. Um, but at the end of the day, I still believe that most people will want us to return towards a sense of comedy across the world. And I think business, frankly, will drive towards that. Consumer markets are big in a lot of countries. A lot of clients are going to look for consumers in those countries. Um, so it would be globalization with localization. But I do think that's going to take place.